Good afternoon, Marcel. Welcome to the show. How are you? I am very well. Good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for joining. So we really look forward to yeah to have a look at your solution, what you are what you want to uh, tell us today. So um, if you're ready, you could also share your screen and uh, and start uh, your pitch. Let me share straight away. Bear with me. Fantastic. Everybody see my screen? We see it. Fantastic. Oh. That's ready. So up to you. <laughs> yeah. So good afternoon. My name is Marcel Hendricks. I've been uh, working in the Oreca sector for more than 30 years, mostly in hotels management and tour operating before creating Oreca sustainability solution <clears throat> during the famous uh, pandemic. Um, our main focus is on preventing food waste at source, transforming food waste into energy and supporting hospitality businesses in getting an international certification on food waste reduction. Apart from staffing, which we all know is an important issue since the pandemic, the increase on food and energy costs are the topics that most businesses are worried about. And waste collection costs are likely to go the same way. But potential, potential room rate increase for 2023 will certainly not going to cover the gap. It is well known that we are wasting a third of all the food that we are producing. If food, food waste was a country, it would be the third largest emitter of CO2. So whatever its environmental impact or cost that drives you, addressing food waste helps you to achieve both. It's generally accepted that for every cover being served in a restaurant, at least 150 grams of food will be going to the bin from preparation, buffet and to plate waste. And the cost of a kilo of food waste is between three to five euro. So it's easy to see how quickly those losses can add up. We are kitchen to install the FIT, a great acronym for Food Intel Tech, which is an award-winning technology by Light Blue Consulting, which has over 10 years of experience in food waste prevention. And using this technology together with our support can reduce food waste costs per cover by around three to 5%. The concept is quite simple and very, and very effective. Getting first the baseline, of course, and helping you to create a food waste prevention team do all the training and help you to implement and analyze the effectiveness of changes and, of course, results. There are complex systems out of the market that photograph waste and tell you what is being wasted. But knowing something doesn't mean action gets taken. We use fit technology to complement the actions. We equip kitchen teams with knowledge, confidence that create results, and the automated reports tell you everything you need to know about your progress. We can generally reduce food waste volume by around 20 to 30 percent. So you might be thinking, uh, what do we do with the other 70, 80 percent remaining? We all know that as food decomposes, it produces methane gas. Until recently, this gas was only captured at large scale industrial plants. But new compact technology can now do this at a decentralized level, such as on hotel premises. The biodigesters machines we work with are built by Safe Energy in Holland and can fit into a 20 foot container. This one is on the picture can take more or less 200 kilo of food per day and provide around 100 cubic meter of biogas per day. The cloth the cloud-based artificial intel system receive data from the machine and actually teach the biodigester to adapt output in line with the food deposited into the machine. It's actually quite simple. Think of, of it like uh, your own stomach without the reporting, of course, and data, uh, since that we are not yet shipped completely. Um, food waste, in fact, is shredded, weighted, and then broken down with additional water within the reactor. Like a human being, gas is created. The resulting liquid is also an, uh, actually a really nutritious fertilizer, which you can also monetize 
for a quick return on investment. The artificial intelligence generates data and reports acting as more like a big brother, which has the effect also to influence the kitchen team to reduce food waste even more by around 10%, simply because they are going to be watched. Not only are you significantly reducing your gas bill, you are saving money on waste collection too and supporting strongly future environmental targets. And finally, we can help you, to, if you want to, to prepare for the pledge on food waste, an international certification system that recognizes the effort and the impact of working to reduce food waste. Given that, we keep seeing new statistics on how many people want to stay in or eat in a more sustainable place. It makes therefore sense to, pro to proactively promote your credentials through third-party certification for which we do have all the support solutions. Not much time in five minutes, so I will not go in more deeper detail. If you have any question, I'm here for you. And All right, well, thank you very, very much. Um, Marcel, such a big issue we're tackling here, waste management. And um, we, it will be great to uh, to get some feedback from our uh, leaders of operations and commercials here. And um, perhaps Fernando, we can start with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I have, well, um, can you uh, would a hotel be able to uh, buy the product and service by modules? So let's say that I just want to focus uh, as a first stage on understanding my waste and the waste so that would be my first question and then the second question is how do you actually get to know how much food is being wasted uh, you first mentioned that other companies are using uh pictures or cameras are you using the same technology or is a different technology compared to those competitors of yours the the the, the feed system is very very simple and i would say when you ask in, in which stage can we work with there is no there is no uh, start and no final. You can simply have the fit and creating your, your, your reduction of food waste into one hotel because maybe not space enough for, um, for a biodigester. But I think the, the most important thing is the, the, the fact that um, uh, the fit is something which you can install in one week. You can have the return on investment of, of the fit in less than a month. A biodigester, uh, it's, it's, it's a totally different story. Uh, a biodigester does not need to have, and as we all know, and the figures can speak by themselves, if you have a restaurant is producing uh, um, a certain amount of service and service plate per day, we can easily calculate the volume of, of, uh, of waste you're going to generate. Uh, it's it's mathematic. Um, we've been doing that in several different places, and we have seen so many different areas to know that uh, the, the average can come and we know more which type of machine we can help you with. And the whole process, nothing, the three products are not linked to each other. You can have the fit for one thing to reduce and control what you're doing. And you can have it for six months, for one year, depending on the, the time you want to. And, um, and the, the, the biodigester can be maybe a next step if you want to do something with it, if you have also the capacity to, 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 to have the space for, for the biodigester. And, and of course, the pledge, the pledge is a concept we can help you to certify and to be able to talk about what you're doing. But the three of them are totally separate. Okay. And the technology that you use to measure the waste, is this uh, camera based or is purely analytical? It's purely it's, analytical. It's pure, pure analytical. We are, we are out of the, 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 the system of a camera. It, a camera works very well. The only problem with the camera is, is why spending more money when, in fact, it's the team. And I'm coming back always to the first, first issue. Without the proper team, without the willingness from management up to the steward cleaning, if there is not a proper green team willing to do something, you will never win. You can put the best ma uh, machinery, the best uh, camera, the best everything. If you have not the willingness to do it and the team supporting you, you, you will not achieve nothing. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. I think it, it, it's going back to transforming people in, in this process of adopting technology and adopting new new processes and procedures. And um, we'll go to a second question with uh, Diego. 
Okay, Marcel, first of all, congratulations. I think you were inspiring, uh, communicating with us how a huge amount of waste we are throwing away. So my question is, uh, from the hotelier angle, uh, what do you think are the main challenges if you are planning to start a project like yours? What we have to take in consideration before we start this project? That's a very, very nice question. Um, I will say one thing. Sadly, because of all the, the problem of the pandemic, the problem of staffing, the problem of understaffing, the problem of the quality of the staffing, uh, a lot of places are worried and concerned just uh, sometimes simply to upset the chef or simply to say, mm, we have done it for 50 years. Why would you need, why would I to change something? We are doing very well. Um, so the challenge comes more by the fact that people say, but in fact, we're doing good. Um, I don't see much going out. Um, my bins are, are quite empty. And it's the people because they do not know what's going on. They think they're doing well. And because they think that nothing has to be, not everything is perfect, then yeah, why, why changing things? And I think that the most, uh, the most worry side is that, um, and the sad, the sad sadness in everything is that some management decide or pretend that their staff are not capable to understand what's going on and they are scared to 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 let the, the staff participate into the journey and that is sometimes very uh, uh, concerning to say but people are human people have kids people are working in the industry we are uh, an industry where we we serving and we helping we know the damage we're doing every single day by operating an hotel in, in, a, in a remote area. We know what is the social impact. We know the sustainability issue and the staff know it also. And sometimes some top management, they, they, they prefer not to listen to that. They, they don't respect, in fact, the staffing. Okay, thank you very much. I think it's quite curious to realize that actually a technology project is a, a matter of people. At the end, without the people, <laughs> even with the best technology, you will never win. You need to okay. have the people with you just to make it right. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you very much. Christina, I think you are on mute. Query of fractures there. Thank you very much. Federica, how are we doing with the time? I think we could have a very quick third question. Okay. Anyone would like to volunteer with a with a question around waste management. Anna, go for it. Okay, thank you very much, Marcel. I think we could have a very long conversation about all that. Uh, but which kind of restaurants already use your system? I saw that you need some sort of space uh, to complete the whole process. Can you tell me more about it? Because there is no camera involved, what you need maybe in, in any type of restaurants is like maybe like two square meter, it's just simply just to have a central place where things can happen and being recorded. It's so the, the space is not the, the biggest problem. It's simply just to put the, the system into place and not pretending that there is more time to, to, to waste or more time to, to, to do things. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to, to, to change in the habit of working. Um, everything simply needs to go by a simple process of, of when the bin goes out and when the waste goes out, we simply just to wait it on, a, on an existing scale and double check by the, the final bin who goes into the the, into the, 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 the container where it's also double checked by, by weight. And it's, it's very, very easy and does not take a lot of space. It's a, it's a question just, again, the willingness. If people want it, they are getting really quickly scared of what they're going to see. I think, yeah, I think sure it's pretty, it. I think it's pretty amazing to be able to use your own organic waste, um, uh, food waste to produce your own electricity, green electricity and biogas. I think that's, that's mind blowing. So thank you ever so much, Marcel, for your, 